Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make a polymer clay cake. It's going to be a yellow cake, so what you'll need is some, um, uh, kind of like a, any color for your cake. I'm using this color that I mixed with white, tan, and some yellow. And you'll also need a color for the frosting for the middle part. And I'm using Hazelnut by Sculpey. You can use any color, but I'm using brown. And you'll also need some white. And then you'll need a blade or exacto knife, a circle cutter, and a needle tool. So what you're going to do is take your cake color and cut out a circle. I already have one of them right here. And after you cut it out, you just want to roll it on its side and then flatten it. And you have one of the cakes, and then you want to flatten it out. Or you can use a pasta machine, but I'm just going to flatten it with my finger. And then roll it with my exacto knife. And then you want to take your circle cutter and cut out a circle. And then peel off the excess. And then get it off your surface. And... And if clay sticks to your surface, you can just scrape it off with your blade. And then, like that. And now you have your other cake slice. Now you want to roll it on its side, and there you have Then you want to take your hazelnut colored clay and roll it out, roll it out like this thick. This is how it is compared to this. So yeah, then you want to cut out a circle. I'm just going to... And then you we'll can pull off the excess. And then you want to take one of your cakes, put it on top, and if there's excess of the um, frosting color and the brown sticking off, you can just trim it away with your plate. Okay. And then you want to take your other cake disc, put it on the other side, and flatten it, and then roll it on its side, and just keep doing that until you like the shape. So, keep doing that. freezer so it firms up, but for now I'm just going to go ahead and cut a slice. So I just want to cut a slice out. And there it is. Here's how it looks. And now you want to give it texture. So take your needle tool, or you can use your exacto knife, but I like using my needle tool and just like Swirl your needle tool like in a circular motion like this. And so it's textured everywhere except you don't want to texture the top and bottom like this part and then on the bottom. Just the inside of the pink part. And this is how it looks. So yeah. And 
and then you could take more of your chocolate colored clay, roll it out really thin, and cover it on your cake, or you can mix it with TLS, translucent liquid sculpting. It looks like this. And mix it until you have a frosting consistency. And then you can make decorations to put on it. But yeah. So I got hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.